Let's first analyze the concept of God in Hinduism. If you ask a common Hindu, who's a layman, that how many gods are there? Some may say three, some may say hundred, some may say thousand, while others may say 33 crores, 330 million. But if you ask a learned person, who's well versed with the Hindu scriptures, he will tell you that the Hindus should actually worship only one God. And they should believe only in one God. But the common Hindu, he believes in a philosophy known as pantheism. What the common Hindu says, that everything is God. The tree is God, the sun is God, the moon is God, the monkey is God, the human being is God, the snake is God. What we Muslims say, that everything is God's. G-O-D with apostrophe, yes. Everything belongs to God. The tree belongs to God, the sun belongs to God, the moon belongs to God, the monkey belongs to God, the human being belongs to God, the snake belongs to God. So the major difference between the Hindus and the Muslims is that the common Hindu says everything is God, we Muslims say everything is God's. G-O-D with apostrophe, yes. The only difference is apostrophe, yes. If we can solve this difference of apostrophe, yes, the Hindus and the Muslims will be united. How do we do it? Quran says, Ta'ala wila kalmitin sawa'im, bainana bainakum. That come to common terms as between us and you. Which is the first term? Allah, na'buda illallah. That we worship none but Allah. 